Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time joining me then welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. So today we'll be talking all things hair which explains why my fingers are actually dirty from dye. It's all because of this hair. Guys, this hair put me through the most, hey? And if you know me, you know that I'm not that great when it comes to hair. Like, it's literally my weakest point. But I am slowly but surely getting there. Especially because I got this right. So, I mean, this was the hardest task I've ever done in my entire life. To actually fix an overly bleached hair is without damaging my lace front. So anyways, before I get into that, which is what the video is actually about, I received hair from Abby Hair. It was about two or three weeks ago. If you watched the video where I was unboxing the hair, you probably know that it's been quite a while since I've had this hair. The problem was that I bleached my hair because it wasn't customized when it arrived to me. So when I bleached my hair, I overly bleached my hair and then it literally bleached even the front part of my hair like you can literally see i'm gonna put a clip right over here so that you guys can see so this hair was basically a mess at first i thought ah, i'm probably going to work with this like i'm probably going to wear it like this but then eventually i saw that it's not gonna work you know like it's gonna look really it's not gonna look right you know so i needed to fix it um so i spent some time and i was trying to figure out what to do and then i eventually got a solution which I will be sharing with you guys on this video. Now the hair, I'm very proud of the quality. I've been wearing this hair literally this entire day today. I did style it. I washed it first. And also I put on um, so the curl la la and also sprinkled a little bit of water. And this is how the hair dries out without combing it. Because I didn't comb it out. It literally was wet. And then this is how it dried out. So I haven't really combed it out. I can't imagine how puffy it is. Um, when it's all combed out it is 150 density and it's also 23 20 28 inch it is 28 inch this is my very first longest weave i want to show you guys how long it is i actually was stressed when i saw that it is this long when it was delivered because when they told me that they actually mm -hmm. sent me 28 inch i was like okay cool you know it's probably not that bad the longest weave i've had in my life it was a 22 inch and it wasn't like it's it wasn't too long but actually it was long so when they said 28 inch i didn't think it was going to be this long so i was really stressing but i really i really do like it i love this hair anyways before i blab too much and i waste your time let's get into the main reason why i film this video hey okay, guys to achieve this you will need black dye of your own choice um, I chose the Renew brand because that's what was recommended to me. I chose it in the color Natural Black, as you guys can all see from the package of the box. You'll also need a mannequin head and also a spoolie or be like me and use your old mascara brush and save some money. But you can get a spoolie at any store. You'll also need a brush or like an applicator brush that normally comes with the dye and an old scuffed tin or like you can get yourself a mixing bowl from clicks as well um, and then you also need like a foil i'll show you guys later why and you need a pair of gloves which i didn't actually use because it wasn't comfortable funny enough um, and got to be glue spray and also petroleum jelly or like vaseline or whatever you have all right so this is actually why you need foil just to make sure that where you're working you don't mess up or stain um whatever place you're working on so get yourself some foil child <laughs> and then you're going to put on your weave obviously on your mannequin um this will obviously make it easier for you to work with watch like your hair um because if there's anything i did wrong the previous time was when i dyed this hair i actually did not put it on a mannequin head i did it all on like just holding the weave on my hand and I think that's what also just ruined the whole process a little bit. I don't know. Um, got to be glue spray. You will spray it on top of your the inside of your lace front. This is to help with protecting that the dye does not touch or like stain your lace. You also add some petroleum jelly or Vaseline. Um, just to also protect your lace front as well this was actually a method that was recommended to me by my friend so here i used two different methods that were recommended by two different people just to make sure that i'm 100 percent safe because the one thing i did not want it is to stain my lace front with black dye that would have been a mess 
Um, so yeah, right here, I'm just applying the Vaseline, making sure that all areas are covered. As you guys can all see that I am doing a little bit extra. <laughs> um, maybe you shouldn't do that much because I really struggled with washing it actually. Um, and then once you're done applying it, just make sure that literally every corner of your lace front is covered with Vaseline. And also you've got to be blue spray um, just to make sure that you are 100% sure that your lace front is protected from the hair dye. And then you are going to take off your weave and put it back to... Um, where you're actually going to be working on because remember we're trying to dye the hair black and so that's the part that we actually will be working on and it is just the section of the lace front you don't necessarily have to dye the whole hair so right now i am actually just like combing my hair making sure that i'm sectioning it i'm going to section it well um and prepping basically to dye the section that was stained by the bleach while I was bleaching the hair. So the next step, it is actually to prep your dye. As you guys can all see, I am mixing the two liquids together. Well, there's a cube that I'm squeezing out. I actually don't know what, how to really explain this process in detail. This is literally my first time guys doing this. So I'm basically mixing <laughs> those two things together, which I don't even know what you call them. Um, yeah, so while I was doing this, I was just so confused. Uguti, why is this dye not black? I was like, did I take a, a wrong color? Why is it not black? Because my expectation, I thought, okay, when I open that, it's going to be black. But then I saw that the longer that it stayed out, mixed all together, it started turning darker but it wasn't even like a black color it was sort of like dark greenish but when i applied it on my hair it definitely was a black so you will continue mixing mixing make sure you mix well mix it to your satisfaction and when you feel like okay you've done enough and that yeah you can then start applying your hair dye onto your weave as you guys can all see in this part that I am actually wearing the gloves but then I realized that I actually won't be able to do like a hundred percent job because like you guys can see like these gloves are actually like very huge like they actually very big so um, I think the best way is obviously to get like maybe those um, gloves that doctors wear what do you call them medical gloves yeah so right now I'm actually starting to apply the hair dye right at like at the bottom because there were some parts of my hair that were actually also like um, affected by the bleach. So I'm just trying to get rid of those strands of those bleach strands as well right there in that corner. Um, so I do this very gently because I actually don't want to dye the whole weave because yeah I just did not see it necessary that I dyed the already black weave dyed black again yeah so that's what I'm doing right so now I'm actually gonna go to the top of like the lace front which is the top front top part of the weave sorry um and I'll start applying my dye there so as you guys can all see that I'm sectioning this part um in order for me to be able to dye all the affected parts or like the bleached parts of the weave so i will be basically doing this throughout the whole um video where i'll be sectioning the weave and um basically use a spoolie to only make sure that i dye only just only the parts of the weave that were actually bleached out and not the entire weave so as you guys can see that i'm really careful about this because i'm trying not to stain my lace at this point i think i didn't really 100 percent trust that the vaseline and got to be could like fully protect my weave but i tell you now like it really does because at some point i then really wasn't as careful as i was right here but still my lace front came out clean clean with not even one stain of black so i basically do this process throughout the top part of my weave so i will be fast forwarding the video from now on because really it is the same thing throughout
now once you're done dyeing your weave throughout as you guys can all see i have completed all sections of the hair i'm just gonna cover it up for about 10 to 15 minutes i didn't actually want to leave it long because the longer you leave the dye on the darker it will be and the hair is not like black black so i didn't want to achieve like a very dark black of the color um so that's why i just left it for like about 10 to 15 minutes and i rinsed it off okay guys so i just finished washing my hair now and as you can all see that this was a success my hair is dyed black to black back <laughs> my hair is dyed back to black and my lace front is still not damaged like you can see that the lace front was not even stained by the black dye thank you so much to roda and shout outs to lilita as well for the um recommended method to use to protect your hair i mean sorry your lace front from not getting stained i am so proud of this i'm so proud of myself because this was the first time and it was a success um okay that's it from me today guys if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up or if you thought it was helpful please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed you know what to do please do share this video it could help someone that you know or like you know what i mean <laughs> i'll see you guys next time love you bye